Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam, this is my channel Adam Sews, and today I'm here to talk to you about So Frugal 23. <music> So, So Frugal is a challenge that is run by the lovely Sam from Frugalissima and the lovely Ruan from the Yorkshire So Girl. Um, it's a challenge that's been run for the last few years. I can't remember off the top of my head how many exactly. Um, the last two years, I believe it's been So Frugal. The year before it was uh, Frugal Frocks, um, but they expanded it to include all types of garments um, from last year onwards. So we are all on a vlogging tour at the moment throughout the month. There's lots of different vloggers and there is a, another vlogger that is vlogging with me today who I have completely off the top of my head forgotten to write down and I can't remember. So I will pop it along the bottom of the screen here um, and go and check out their channel as well. Um, the patterns that I have come up with today, I've tried to find patterns that are more men's patterns um, a couple of them are unisex um, and they are from pattern designers that you might not have heard of before um, and they are patterns that I've not actually seen before. I actually did a bit of a deep dive to try and find something slightly different to what is sort of like the run of the mill major pattern companies. Um, so I will kick off with the probably the most well known out of all of them and that is Mood um, Patterns by Mood Society. Um, the first one I want to talk to you about is the Basquiat trousers. Um, I actually made these already this month. Um, I will insert pictures of the line drawings and I will also insert a little 12 video of me actually wearing these, which I mentioned in my recent Friday sews. Um, I made some adjustments to these, but the pattern itself is really good. The only thing is the instructions are a bit vague. So if you haven't made a pair of trousers before, I would advise maybe making a different pair before you make these so that you've got the knowledge of how to install things like fly fronts and different things because then you'll be able to refer back to the pattern that you've made previously. Um, they are a really good wide range of sizes. I made the smallest size and it fits perfect um, and that is the basket trousers. Uh, the next thing that I have on my list, which is something I do actually want to make at some point, I don't know that I'm going to get time to do it this month, but I do want to keep it on the back burner, and that is the Avalia bomber jacket. Um, again, I will insert a picture of that. This is a unisex bomber jacket. Again, it's by Mood Society. It is a free pattern, um, and I just really like the way that it looks. The third pattern that I have come across is by a company that is called Atta, Atta Kak Patterns. It's A-T-A-C-A-C -A -A is how you pronounce, is how you spell it. Um, they are a, I think they're a Japanese pattern design um, that basically come as a one piece flat layout. Um, I will try and insert a picture of what I'm on about here. Um, so you can have these printed in PDF um, on plotter paper, so on AO. Uh, they don't actually come as a A4 um, layout, but you can set your printer, you can actually set the file up to print tiled, which I believe will then print it on A4, but you have to do something with the overlaps and different things, but there is a way of doing it. Um, but it is a pattern that you could obviously, I personally, if I do make this, which I probably will, I will send this off to a PDF plotting company, probably CLC prints in Essex, um, because it is one huge piece that is the whole garment. So it basically wraps around in on itself and it's got some really, really cool style lines which bring it all together. The only thing that is separate is the cuffs and the hem band. Everything else actually wraps around into itself. Um, and that is the sweatshirt pattern by that company. They also do... just so you are aware, they also do patterns for dress stand arms for either a male dress form or a female dress form. I know they've got nothing to do with So Frugal, but if you have a dress form, I know Jane from the Dressmaker's Closet has just got one um, that is proper a proper dress form that she can do draping and different things on. Um, and this company actually does um, patterns to make arms actually pin onto your dress form. So if you wanted a set of arms, for it you can actually download the patterns to actually make those um so that might be something that is inter of interest to people um 
The other pattern that I've come across is from Peekaboo Patterns. It is the Adult Classic Sweatshirt, which is a unisex pattern. It says it's the Adult Classic Sweatshirt. I personally would class this as a hoodie, not a sweatshirt. Um, as you can see from the line drawings, the lady in the first photo is wearing it as a hoodie, so I would class it as a hoodie. But it looks like a really nice sweatshirt pattern, and I do seem to make quite a lot of sweatshirts because I do tend to buy quite a lot of French Terry. Um, so that is something that I might make. The other thing that I found, which I haven't ever come across one of these as a free pattern, um, it is Fibre Moods Men's Boat Neck Tea. It is the James Boat Neck Tea. Um, it's not something that I've ever thought about making, but it looks like it would be really good as a... I might do a twelve version of it as pyjamas. And looking at the sort of imagery through Fibre Moods um, images for this pattern... I pulled two fabrics out of my stash, um, both are jerseys. One is this really nice pink and white jersey um, and the other one is this khaki and white jersey which I think would look really really nice because it has that sort of sailor stripe um, to it in their imagery and it just kind of twigged my memory and thought oh I've got some fabrics in my stash that would work perfectly for that. So that is it for the patterns that I have found for So Frugal 23 this year. As I said, I have made the basket trousers before. I think I probably will make another pair. Um, thank you for joining me today on this vlogging tour. Um, I am also one of the sponsors for So Frugal. So anyone that is entering has the chance of winning some prizes from my PDFs that are on my website. So I will see you all soon and take care. Thank you.